2014 was a banner year for the Calgary Roughnecks. They went 12 and 6 during the regular season, then had an incredible playoff run before sadly losing to Rochester in the NLL Champions Cup. They kick off this season, uh, their season this Saturday against the Vancouver Stealth at the Saddle Dome. Longtime Roughnecks captain Andrew McBride joining us this morning to preview the season. Nice to see you back, and nice to see you back as the captain in your 13th season. Unbelievable. It's been a great run. Yeah, we're really excited to get going this year. The dome's going to be rocked, and last year. A lot of fun. We got really close. A sad loss in the last game. It was a, it was a heartbreaker. But uh, same right. team. Most of the guys back. We're really excited to get going. Okay, so sort of. I mean, how does that transfer into training camp and this season? What happened last year? You've got to have that momentum, right? Yeah, and I think you use the experience. You know, you can look at it as a negative situation, but we're really using it to try to get to that next level. See all the lessons that we've learned. Um, and try to convey to some of the younger guys what it takes to be a champion. And I think it was a great lesson for all of us. We've come back hungry, we've come back ready to rock, and hopefully it carries over into the season. And you said a lot of the same guys are back. So talk about some of the veterans, uh, yourself included, and kind of what that means and what you are parlaying that into and, and conveying to the younger guys. Yeah, you know, we got Jeff Snyder, who, who's been a member. I know he's on here lots. Mike Carnegie on the offensive end. A guy like Sean Evans and Curtis Dixon. And I think it's about staying hungry. Our, our league is so unique where everyone else has jobs, you got to fly in on the weekend, mm -hmm. and really just embracing the experience and coming in and giving all you can. And especially playing at the Saddle Dome where we had such great crowds last year. Our fans were so into it. Uh, it means the world for us for them to come out and support us. How has the sport in this country changed since you started? Yeah, it's crazy. You know, it's grown so much from my classroom lacrosse program to what Jeff does, giving kids scholarships. Mm -hmm. I think you just see the kids playing a lot more. There's really a lot of opportunities for the kids to go down in the States. And it's really coming from a niche sport to a sport that's getting to the main level, which is really exciting because boys and girls, they have tons of opportunities in lacrosse. I actually did have Jeff and his brother on the show not too long ago. But let's focus now on the, the classroom lacrosse program that you are a part of. Um, what do you bring to, to kids when you do this? Uh, for our program, it's all about kind of trying to find an avenue you're passionate about. And obviously, my avenue is lacrosse. But we talk about healthy eating, goal setting, being a good community mentor. We do some stuff with Right to Play. And it's all about really finding your passion and being a great community member in the school. So it's been a great program. I'm so lucky to go into different schools and work with the kids. Uh, it, as you know, having a young one, it's a joy mm -hmm. working with these kids. They have lots of uh, pizzazz. They have lots of fun. And I uh, couldn't be happier that the experiences we've had through the program. What do you um, tell them about what you've learned? Because, I mean, yes, like what, no matter what your passion is, you have to work hard. So what do you think lacrosse has brought you? I definitely think for me it's, it's uh, learning about teamwork, right. learning about problem solving. The good thing about lacrosse, you have to learn how to win and lose. And those are lessons you're going to take for the rest of your life. It's not just about coming out and seeing the final score in the game. It's how you work with the teammate, how you bounce back from adversity. So all these translate over to life. And I think sport in general is something so mm -hmm. important for kids to play because these are lifelong lessons. And you've been in training camp getting ready. Yeah. Tell us about how grueling that can be. It is grueling. <laughs> you know, you come in, you're practicing late at night, you're practicing early in the morning, the body's a little banged up. Uh, the older you get, you got to stretch a little more. I can't be right. eating Big Macs or anything like that. You really got to kind of bear down. But I think it's a great thing to get everyone together. We've had a couple exhibition games, which is good. We don't, don't just hit our offensive guys. They, they complain right. a lot. So uh, <laughs> it, it's nice to hit other guys and get in the groove. Uh, you guys work incredibly hard, and it is so much fun to watch. So I know we can look forward to another fantastic season. We're excited. Thanks for coming down. Come check out the game. It's going to be a good one. So the season opener uh, happens on Saturday. We want you to be there loud and proud. We have a four-pack of tickets to give away, plus cowbells to make it extra loud, plus some spending cash. Head to breakfasttelevision.ca, click on contest, scroll down to daily prizing to enter. Please do tell us you're entering for these Roughnecks uh, tickets. No purchase necessary. Full rules at breakfasttelevision.ca. Really nice to see you, man. Thanks Glad you're us. back in the saddle. Andrew McBride, captain of your Calgary Roughnecks. Go check him out Saturday night. And